Okay, so we've done a lot with arrays, um, indexed or ordered arrays, right? Where we have position zero, position one, position two to store some data. Today, I'd like to work on some um, something called an associative array, or in JavaScript, we call it an object literal. And I'm going to do um, to to teach this. I'm going to use some graphics because um, I find it's a, it's a nice fit um, and really easy to understand. So I've got this graphics library template. Let's just copy that. Can I do that? Fork a sandbox. That should make a copy of it. And then it'll load, and I'm just going to rename it. And we are going to call it bubbles. Because we are going to create some of it in my drafts. I want to put that into CS20. Okay, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. It just has a, this this graphics template just has the, the canvas all set up. I can now toggle this. Let's zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. So you'll just see all it has is a canvas and it's got uh, some styles on it. So it's centered and has a little border. And my JavaScript has the graphics library, right? With all those nice functions that I can use. And then the main.js is right here. Bubble, oops, bubble. Objects by Mr. V. Associative arrays. Okay, and, and the main idea here is that we've done lots of stuff like let my array be assigned, you know, hi, by, yo. Right, and this is a, an ordered array, position zero, position one, position two. There's an order to it. Another data structure is called an associative array where there's key value pairs. Key value pairs. And we look up something by a key instead of by a position. Okay, so for example, I could go let bubble be, assi be assigned. And instead of doing square brackets, um, an object or an associative array is made using curly bra brackets. And then we do these name value pairs. So x colon 400, comma, y colon 300, comma, r colon 25. Okay, so you'll see it's still a collection, right? An array is a collection, an ordered collection. This is a collection, but we've got um, keys or properties. Yeah, maybe like the, the, the reference is keys sometimes. I do like to talk about properties, property value pairs. So we look up the property and it has a value. It has a Y property, it has a value, an R property. And then the way that we can, can access those values is we go console.log bubble.x, right? And that'll look up the X property, the value of the X property of the bubble. It's like we're grouping um, variables together. X, Y, and R are all these variables that are related to the bubble object, right? They're the properties of the bubble object, okay? X is number Y and R. Um, and in fact, we should probably draw this. Let's uh, let's get our request animation frame draw. Let's have a function called draw because I want to animate these bubbles. Um, at the end, we should. So I'm just going to copy Control C, Control V that line because that makes this draw function loop over and over again. Right? We call it once here, and then we call it again. And the animation frame, remember, just does it so that it runs smoothly that the, the frame refresh is consistent. And I'm just going to set a fill, whoa, not a file list, fill. So I'm going to hit space to get rid of the autocomplete. There we go. Uh, fill blue. And then I'm going to go circle. And I'm going to draw a circle at bubble.x, bubble.y, bubble.r, and the mode will be fill. Right, if we go to our graphics library, a circle is X, Y, R, and mode. Okay, let's save this, and hopefully we will see a bubble. Ta-da! Okay, cool. Um, so that, that's the main idea behind it. Now, I'm surprised it didn't uh, format this for me. Oops. Because I, I like to show an, an example of a, an object or an associative array in, the, in one line like this to show you that, yeah, it's, it's just one line of code. It's a collection of variables. But usually when we define objects, the styling is often done like this, just to make it a little easier to see. 
right? That it's like, okay, a bubble has an X, a Y, and an R property, especially if you have more of them. So they're having one long line, you just line them up one um, property per line. Okay. Um, in fact, sometimes what I like to do when I'm creating an object like this is to use a function. So I'm going to say function new bubble, and it's going to take in an initial X value, an initial Y value, an initial radius value. And it's simply going to return an object with an initial X, Y, initial Y, comma, R, init R. Right, so I can create this um, this object, right? Curly braces x these property value pairs separated by commas, and it'll be initialized to these values. So now what I can do is I can simply go 400, 325, new bubble 400, 325. And what's nice about that is now bubble one can be that bubble one. And I can just copy and paste, and we're going to set bubble 2 to be 200, 150, 35. Okay, and then I'll copy and paste this. And we'll set a fill of red and change that to bubble 2. And save, and hopefully, refresh. Yay, right? So I've created two bubble objects. I said this new bubble and I passed in the different values for X, Y, and R. It created the object here, right, with the properties and returned that object. Cool, we can do bubble three. Uh, let's go 500, 400, and a tiny one. Let's try that. And another thing I could do, maybe I'll add that in the next video, is we could actually set bubble.color as well, right? That they could have their own color properties. Really should have just done my control D or find replace. Cool. And they don't have to be linear. Oops, where am I going here? Where am I going? I got all sorts of crazy stuff open here. There we go. That's the one I want. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, and this is kind of a little too linear for me. Let's put this up at 100 as well. Right, you can control the, the properties of these things and it's beautiful. Okay, um, I think I'm going to stop the video there. The key idea was, I did it again, key idea is that we want to have a collection where it's not position 0, position 1, position 2, but we can look up values by their name, their properties, X, Y, and R. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.